this session begins underground in Boxborough at Witch Hollow Farm. The cabal has ventured into a secret passageway beneath the large farmhouse, which was quickly crushed by trucks filled with blood. After a conversation with a woman who turned herself into snakes, the party is left alone in a dank underground tunnel with barely any light. There's some sort of goo dripping from the walls and ceiling. You can proceed forwards or backwards. Is there mana in the goo? Yes. Your prime site last time told you that this was definitely Tass. So this goo here is Tass. Um, you could roll a prime plus gnosis check to unveil the mystery of whatever's happening here. Yes, please. Are there any other spirits uh, in the tunnel where we are now? Yes, the tunnel itself is a spirit you sense. Um, I mean, of course, everything has a spirit, but it's like the spirit that is here has been strengthened. Someone has cultivated a spirit of secrecy. Ooh. So when Hannah stumbled upon their cabin in the woods, there was a secret space in the basement that had a wall. And I think that it was a spirit like of secrecy kind of. Indeed, there was a spirit of secrecy there, but that one was, these are both naturally forming spirits. Spirits. When you keep things secret, spirits will arise. Um, similar to how that one was fortified, this too is a fortified spirit. It's like if you had to guess that someone with awakened magic or something similar used their powers to imbue the spirits here with essence and even like going so far as perhaps to sacrifice other spirits to them to give them power Ooh, okay so someone really wants this to say secret these are really secret tunnels secret tunnel. <laughs> secret tunnel <laughs> <laughs> so hard not to say that <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not going to talk to me, but I'm going to try and persuade the tunnels to talk to me about the nature of the spirit, uh, the nature of the secret. Yeah, you can roll, but subtract five from your roll. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can use a yantra on this if you'd like. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, I'll take out my uh, lighter, which is uh, illuminating. Yeah. Um, so that would be one back. Yep. The light flickers around eerily here. Mona, did you get any successes on that prime roll? Zero. Yeah. So you could spend, either of you could spend a willpower to try to roll again to examine this mystery. But what you can tell with zero successes is that it is magic, um, and the spirit is not very talkative. Can I uh, roll to turn some of this sludge into heart-shaped candies yes. of mana? That would be a prime plus gnosis check. Okay. Yeah, I'll do, I'll spend a little power to investigate again. All right, do it with that same minus five penalty. Ermengarde, you've just returned to the land of the living, or are you in ghost form? Um, I think since my interaction with my last ghost friend went so poorly, I am back in the land of the living now that I'm back in this room. <laughs> so you stand with the rest of the cabal. Brother Finnegan is watching you, mostly distraught. One success. With one success, um, you can tell that whoever strengthened the spirit here 
did it a long time ago because this spirit has been slumbering here. It's a very powerful spirit of secrecy cultivated long ago. Other than that, it's pretty opaque. I was concerned that it was maybe something that the Nemean had done. It doesn't but- have his nimbus on it. And typically the nimbus of a mage stays for a while unless they know how to burn it away. Okay, old secrets. Great. Um, why were there milk trucks full of blood that made me want to eat people? Anyone? Well, I mean, I, I I have an inkling about the cannibalistic portion of that. And I don't know where those milk carts came from. They just fell out of the sky. But um, the cannibal in that building, I'm pretty sure came from cult that started a long long time ago um kind of like the start of this whole thing and they need to be destroyed and maybe he is trying to get us to be indoctrinated into this cult by eating people i don't know you did not mention a blood cult when you were explaining what's going on. I <laughs> so didn't think it had to be mentioned. <laughs> I thought they were long gone. I didn't know cannibals like came to the present. I thought that was like way in the past and that we wouldn't have to worry about them anymore. A cannibal what? blood cult? You can't be serious. From the past? Yeah, like Aztec time, you know. They used to eat people's hearts all the time. Ah. Those so, New England Aztecs. <laughs> so I don't know. Started in Aztec times. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mona's not good. <laughs> at, Mona's not very good at history. She doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, she, we don't really know much about them. Parallax, you are yes. pretty good at history, in fact. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're from the past per se exactly but so. they are we've had a run in with them in the past um yeah so it's, it's kind of complicated i can't really go that much into detail about it but it seems like this blood cult may or may not in my theory collaborating with the other parallaxes to get to us but so other use from other timelines are getting aztec blood cannibal cult people to help them kill you i don't i wouldn't say no i I wouldn't focus on the aztec thing but yes yeah um certainly a a blood cult that has some oh well they uh, let's say they worship a god that we don't want in this world and the more they worship it's not a real god i'm, I'm being true, hypothetical but as you're thinking i'm making it a metaphor the god of the other <sighs> reality also parallax you can kind of feel it flickering on the edges of your brain too as you try and not yeah, no, I, think about it so I definitely hard. think about it. It's like playing the game. If you, if you think about the game, you lose the game. And it's just, I and definitely think about it. There you are second. in an yeah. alternate timeline. So far in this alternate timeline, tried. you have tried to seal a rift and yes. then watched as Sanjata on the top of the pyramid got pushed away into who knows where, wherever a space mage can send you. Mm-hmm. Parallax, you are face to face with a giant demonic version of yourself. And Mona, you are down a 60 foot fall 
into the heart of the ziggurat where there's a bunch of art that you don't want to look at and a tunnel that goes downwards. You have an action. What do you do? <gasps> Wait, does this tunnel look like the one we're currently in? Does it have black on the goop walls? It does. I'm going to run into that tunnel and... As you run into the tunnel, your footsteps echo and you feel as if everything is distorting, rippling around you, the walls itself. And parallax on the top of the ziggurat. I, I look at my demonic self and I like gesture to what just happened to Sinjata. I'm like, why, why would you do that? He was a, our friend. We are friends enough, are we not? There are plenty of us. There's more to be said about our relationship, sure, but there's something to be said about friendships outside of our circle, yeah? They're going to try to kill you, he says, just before you return to that tunnel where everybody else was having a conversation before Parallax and Mona just kind of like tuned out and started looking around spacely. <laughs> and Brother Finnegan goes, yeah, it's not the weirdest thing I've heard. Um, we're in a, a roll of Blitz, what's it called? Blitz Empathy to kind of notice the pattern of when they space out in relation to the stuff they're talking about. Yeah, do it. Oh, I got, ooh, two successes. Yeah, you can like hear their heartbeats kind of like falter and stop. And then their bodies start having like adrenaline reactions. And it's always when they're talking about whatever dark God or whatever Mono was talking about just then. Huh. Cool. Hey, Ermagard, have you noticed they, um, they turn the space out? When some sort of dark god, you guys, are you back yet? No, this, but it's by no means the oddest thing that happened, so I haven't chosen to put much thought into it. I mean, it's odd, but I think it's odd, bad, not like odd, normal, or odd, good. This is odd, bad. Um, hey, you guys. So I think I figured out the thing that you're not supposed to talk about, but I don't know what it is, but. Maybe we can come up with some sort of code or something, because that's what I just did. I used a code and it didn't work. Yeah, you guys are a little traumatized. You're like a something bad happens because your body just goes. You know it. Cool, cool. cool. Um, so something bad and a blood cult and parallaxes. Is there any way we can get out of this uh, babysitting vow? Um, there is. Uh, we need to contact a certain somebody who is in a certain place that is unreachable. Uh, we need to get mm -hmm. uh, in contact with, uh, It's uh, is it Discordia or Angerona? Angerona is the one who made the vow. Yeah, we need to get in contact with Angerona. And she's currently in the Emerald Scroll, which is like... I have no clue where that is. I, and I don't know if it's on the map. I don't know what that is. I'm just concerned a little bit about our survival. Um, cool, cool. The Nemean isn't a fate mage by chance, right? He's a life mage and something else. Master of life, master of spirits. He is a spirit. He and May are just our a powerful state mage could sever the oath that we've made. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know a lot of people. Why is the oath so problematic? Well, it just... There's a blood cult and a bunch of evil parallaxes out to kill parallax, and we gotta stick around parallax which means we're in mortal danger 100% of the time more than usual. 
Yeah, parallax. I mean, I'm here to help and be supportive and follow all these lovely fate things, but it's, it's like being tied to a sinking ship that's also on fire and having milk trucks full of blood dropped on it. Like, maybe we just want to be tied from the ship. Yeah, parallax, you're going to take care of us, right? Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, you're my friends. The, the, and the other Pelexes won't hurt me, and by and by association, they should not hurt you. You yeah, do like, feel the Parallaxes pushing on that ward that you had over the building. The spell is still active, even though the building is destroyed by milk trucks. They're looking for you. Yeah, I just want to make sure, Parallax, like, we are your friends, and it it's nice to know that you have our backs, too, in this perilous time. Absolutely, we go way back. I, I don't, nothing you guys need to worry about. But that being said, <laughs> we should get moving. There's okay. a, yeah, the, the ward that I put up earlier is not, I don't know how much longer that's gonna hold for. Okay, where to? Well, we can't go back that way because that's where the building went. I mean, it's just a straight hallway, right? I'm not imagining it. Yeah. yeah, so that way was where that building collapsed. So I think you should go that way, where the opposite direction. We should not go. We should not go through the soil. There is no one nice to talk to there. Oh, who's in the soil, Ethel? No one pleasing. Just some grumpy ghost. There was another grumpy ghost I had met up before. She was controlling other ghosts. Hmm. Huh. I don't know anything about ghosts controlling other ghosts. She called them her children. They weren't hers. I mean, they couldn't have been. She didn't, it might have killed her. <gasps> it's complicated. Um, Ethel. Yeah. It's not important. If Parallax left, how would we know he was the right Parallax when he came back? Wait, wait, don't try to change the subject, Ethel. I say as we start walking down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> um, remember when you turned that goo into a heart? I, I hadn't tried yet. Uh, okay, for it. so you, so no, the goo's still oh, wait, in the no. ball then. I did, I rolled a five. You rolled five successes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as you're walking down the hallway now, you reach up and you coalesce three hearts as the goo disappears from the walls. They're black. Three little black hearts. And unfortunately, it doesn't become as easy as just going forwards or back. As soon the hallway branches to a left and a right. Um, is the spirit of secrecy stronger in one direction than the other, or is it just suffused across the entire time? As a spirit of secrecy, it doesn't give away which side is more important. However, <laughs> there might be a magic that could do just that. Uh, I'm going to throw my fate side on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I could do that too. I forgot. <laughs> While you're casting that, can I also cast a ward on myself to protect my fate being meddled with? Um, yes, but as an improvised fate spell, that's going to cost you a point of mana, Mona. Okay. Uh, Why? Yes? Why everyone does their magic way to try to decide. Uh, I want to pull a coin out of my pocket and flip it. Okay. Hmm. Heads left, tails right. Uh, it, in fact, says to go to the left. And Parallax, as you put up your mage site, you can tell by seeing through fate that there are, in fact, three paths here. You can go left, you can go right, or you can go straight ahead into a secret passageway directly in front of you. There is also a connotation to the fates with your fate site. How many successes did you get on a fate gnosis roll? Two. You can tell that the um, 
secret passage is meant to be sealed. And you can tell that the passageway to the left leads to the heart of the property. Meant to be sealed, huh? Oh, well, I do like me some secret passages. I am very curious about the secret passages in front of me, and I'm going to try to walk through that way. Okay. To the wall? Are you going at it like platform nine and three quarters style? <laughs> I mean, it's a sealed pathway, so I, want, I know it's there. I mean, I could certainly try. I'll put my hand up against it, see if I can't sort of. Well, it seems solid like stone, but you can tell that on the other side, a passageway continues. Oh, I'll check it out then. And I cast Go Skate again. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Walk through the As wall. You pass into the twilight and through the wall. You can sense something here on the other side of the living in the realm of death something intense it gives you chills even as a ghost it's like waves of energy coming off of whatever is in the darkness in front of you do you go continue down no i come right back i'm starting to learn a few lessons so it's awful that way uh very bad can you hear, wait a minute, can they hear me when I'm a ghost? Can I just like talk and I just have a voice out of nowhere? Or do I have to come back? I think that you would have to come back at your level of death mastery. There might be a way to do it. You just don't know how. Okay. I yeah, talk like to you... myself for a few minutes and then recognize that and come back. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat what I just said. <laughs> There's something awful down there. We should, not good. Oh, kind of not good. Like, gave me, gave me chills, ghost chills. But I'm so curious. I mean, I'll <laughs> go like full of death chills, or like, in something very not good, uncomfortable. I can go back. But not alone. Well, well, we can oh. certainly. So we have two options. We can. I point like to the left direction. So that leads to the, the heart of this sort of farm area that we're in right now. Or if we can go that way, which is sealed for a reason. I don't know about you, I'm very curious as to why it's sealed. It's a very I, powerful place. <laughs> Me just always want to look and see why stuff is locked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely can... some, uh, some treasure back there is what I'm thinking. Maybe I can make you all ghosts too? Can well, we? It I mean, what's this wall made out of? Oh, don't you want to be ghosts? It's kind of fun. Uh, is it made out of dirt? Oh, it's made out of stone, but you could try to smash it with your forces. Um, yeah. A matter mage or a death mage might be able to disintegrate it away. Or you could just use brute strength. Yeah, I'll try... Um... Can I walk through the Pushing barrel on. through the wall or see if the wall is there in this? That's group? right. You might be able to walk through in the veil if the wall wasn't there in the spirit realm. Would you like to go to the spirit realm? Yes. Okay. So why don't you roll that spirit gnosis check while Mona? <laughs> uh, while Mona's just pressing on this wall, seeing if they can budge some rocks. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you like to use a fate spell to do that? Or would you like to use a forces spell to like push it with your mind? Um, I'll do a forces spell to help my muscles. Mona's Ooh, okay. got some good muscles. Yeah. You can add your muscles as a yantra bonus for plus one. And as you slip into the spirit realm, you find that the gauntlet here is stronger than zero. So you're kind of like, you're pushing against a force that's separating you. And normally this works mostly for spirits, but it also works for mages who are trying to uh, push themselves into the primal wilds domain. 
you need more successes, but you could do it as an extended action. Yeah, I could keep like pushing against the wall, trying. Yeah, so you can uh, roll another spirit gnosis as you concentrate. And what does this look like? What is Hannah doing in this underground tunnel? Um, definitely bracing against the wall with their eyes closed and kind of um, humming. Uh, what would it be? Oh, they're just humming secret tunnel. (laughs) Sure, Uh, successes on that roll? Three. Okay. So with three successes, you really like lay into it and a huge chunk of this wall flies right out. It was only about four inches thick. And with three successes, your magic has punched a sizable enough hole that a person could squeeze through it or you could use more magic to completely break down this wall and hannah shifts into the spirit completely just kind of like flickers out of existence and going into the spirit realm is secret tunnel secret secret tunnel through reality (laughs) and into the spirit of a secret tunnel. It seems longer here. The tunnel is darker. Your friends are missing. The spirit of secrecy is all around you, but you know who else is here. It's the spirit of sorrow that you saw above that filled the entire valley of Witch Hollow Farm. It's down here in the secret tunnels as well, and no, the wall is not. Instead, there's a yawning abyss that leads down a long and mysterious tunnel. In the spirit world. Ooh. Um, that's scary. Um, Try to find a spirit avatar. <laughs> As I was going through, I could tell that Mona was breaking through the wall. Yeah. Um, kind of like, they're right behind me. And I'm just going to step on through. All right, you're walking in the spirit realm. And why don't you give me a resolve plus composure check? Meanwhile, what's the rest of the party doing? You guys think that that wall might have been there for a reason? Oh, definitely, yes. Yes. I could have just made you ghosts. I don't see why you don't want to be ghosts. I've just never been a ghost before. It doesn't really sound like something I'm ready to try, especially now with everything going on. Yeah, I totally have a being in part of the land of the living. Let's keep it that way. But you um, uh, do it. Can I tell what barrier is actually causing this, or this, like, is whatever spell is sealing this sort of pathway, or is it just a big old rock wall thing? So it is is just a rock wall. It wasn't sealed with a spell particularly, okay. and you could actually fit through if you'd like to pass through with your physical bodies. I'm going to stick an arm through. The air behind is stale, unopened for centuries, maybe. How's my arm feeling? Not eaten. (laughs) All right, I'm going to uh, use Force's spell and just uh, like fan some fresh air in there and squeeze it. Give me a wits composure check as you do that. And Katie, Hannah, as you're walking, starts feeling it's like there's an itch on your skin. And the walls of the tunnel are getting closer and closer together. And then you hear a sound. 
sounds like bone on bone. Mm. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I hope now. Um, I can't use so while I'm in the spirit world, I can't augment my body with life magic, right? Because it's No, you could augment yourself with spirit magic though. You could make your hands do lethal damage to spirits essentially. Yeah, I was thinking of using the see in the dark eyes, but it's too late. Yeah gonna look back and see i guess i wouldn't be able to see them in the spirit world but you could kind of peer outside of the spirit world yeah just kind of look at it and see if anyone's nearby yeah give me a wits plus composure check and mona how many successes did you get on that Three. wits plus composure check there's a smell when you fan the air around as you step through Smells like must, like old, dead things. Well, someone died in here. Hannah, how many successes on that? At three successes. With three successes, you stick your head through and you see Mona climbing into a hole on the other side. Just as she's about to look at you you hear something in the spirit world, kind of like a shift. And you turn to look back behind you. That's when you roll spirit plus gnosis. Um. Two. With two successes, you try to throw up a ward against whatever is there, but it pulls you back down. Um, Mona, for a moment, you see Hannah's face flicker and then disappear in confusion. In confusion? Alarm. (laughs) Alarm. An alarm? I'm going to hop out of that tunnel. And did you say I saw Hannah in the tunnel disappear in alarm? Okay, yeah, I'm hopping out of that tunnel. Uh, uh, wh- why why did Hannah go invisible? How, how did they do that? They looked they looked concerned and now they're gone. They disappeared, you guys. Um, do we have a light source? No. Oh, it's just dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark down here. Um, does anyone have a light source? I, I think you can do that if you're a prime mage, right? Or forces. Yeah, you could totally create like an orb of light that hovers in front of you. Okay, I'll do that. You do I it. An orb of light. Mm-hmm. Oh no, they're gone. So, okay, um, I'm going to uh, nice. make Good two job. orbs, keep one orb, and then send the other one in the tunnel. Okay. The orb travels down a good 30, 40, 50 feet, and then it lands on a solid wood door that's cracked open ajar. In the spirit world, the force that pulls you back is all muscles and sinew, some sort of long flesh spirit is pulling you back into what seems like a nest of bones. Are they laid or just flesh? An interesting distinction. They look kind of like these strange misshapen apes and there's at least two of them and something about them gives you chills. With four successes on your resolve plus composure check though, you're holding it together. You take a beat as you encounter these things. 
and they definitely have some flesh. Much of their flesh is missing. It looks eaten. It looks like something, maybe even themselves, has eaten large chunks of their own flesh. They have these tiny little eyes set back in their heads, and they have these long, giant, rubus noses. Um, They don't look great, and they do look (laughs) hungry. And in fact, you feel hungry. And give me another spirit plus gnosis check as you look at them. I don't like this. One success. You can tell that these are spirits of hunger. They are hungry spirits. Hungry for maybe you, it seems. Hungry for a spirit flesh or flesh flesh? Very unclear. Hungry. Hmm. Um, yeah, I would like to fortify my fist into spirit bashing. Okay. So- fight back, please. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be a spirit gnosis check, and then you're going to roll um, your combat skill there. Brawl plus strength, I imagine. Uh, One success on my spirit fist. And one success on my bashing roll. Okay. Your your hands flash out, and even though you only score a glancing hit, where you hit them, it kind of um, it makes them scatter away from it. Their very form breaks apart with your strike, and they are clearly cowed by your show of strength, pulling back to the roof and ceilings of this bone cathedral. Parallax, Ermengard, Mona. Uh, yeah, I'm putting a forces shield around myself as well as Ethel. Um, and I think I'm going to also put on night vision. I think I'm going to require you to roll for both of those because time is a factor here. Okay. So it's forces gnosis for both of them, and you can do both. Can I put up a death shield? Yes, you can. Death Gnosis in that case. Three for the force field roll. Mm -hmm. Entropy shield away. And three for the um, night vision. Okay, that's good. You've got night vision. You can see down into the dark. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm concerned about Hannah. I'm going to jump in and uh, hold up my wrench and be like, I'm warning you, if you hurt Hannah, you're in big trouble. And I'm just going to... Uh, down the hallway to the door uh no i'm gonna throw a firebolt at that wooden door because it's wooden and we're underground so that's fine right i can control it definitely (laughs) uh i roll for that as well Mm -hmm. a firebolt out of flame Ooh, so far so good Uh, that's four successes with four successes you burst the door into fire it illuminates for everyone else to see parallax ermengard are you following mona definitely and with two hits 
Okay. You slip through after Mona. The hole's just a little bit too small for uh, Brother Finnegan, who has to smash some other rocks to get through. As he comes through, however, um, he is going to put his hands up, and as he does, steel gauntlets form upon them. Ooh, I like that. Let's go. You charge down to the burning door and kick it open. Yeah. Inside, the ground is covered with decayed skeletons. This Disgusting. This is filled with death and rot, but intentionally built. The focus of this small chamber is a single sarcophagus, a woman holding roses. Uh, who could that be? I ask Parallax, you're the historian. Do you know who this is? Who this? Uh, I wish not to speculate right now, but we should definitely try to find Hannah first before we investigate this little area. Is this the only room? It is. Uh, yeah, I don't see Hannah. Hannah? You uh, stand face to face with these hungry spirits, and they are cowed by your force here in this world, waiting hungrily. Um, I'm going to uh, put up my fist and say, if you take one step closer to me, I will eat you. Ew. <laughs> They you would not. <laughs> and then you'll be hungry forever. Slowly back and forth. And they're looking at you. They don't seem to want to attack you. They don't seem to react much, though. They don't seem terribly intelligent. But they're spirits. Spirits don't have intelligence in the same way. They could be very clever were tricky about some things while being entirely stupid in other ways. So if you, I'm better at persuasion than intimidation, but if you wait just a little bit longer, there will be a feast, but me and my friends have to go get it for you. When you say persuasion, do you mean subterfuge? Yes. <laughs> okay. I also have no points in, but it's more like fictional persuasion. Yeah, yeah. Give me a um, manipulation subterfuge check, which is manipulation minus one. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be so good. Nope. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> that spirit of sorrow that's been all around here forms together into the form of a severe looking woman in a long straight dress and habit who gestures a hand out towards you and those two creatures attack again. Okay. And I fight back. Does that mean I get to brawl? Yes. Roll an opposed brawl check. Two successes. Two successes. You bat them away and they shriek silent screams as you hit them. Their bones shattering apart and when they reform, their bodies look more pulpy than before. It's clear that you're beating down their essence, their very form here. And once you completely destroy them, they will slumber until they regain essence. Um, But that sorrow spirit is filled with essence and it could give them essence if that was one of its powers. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn to the spirit woman and who are you? 
and try and investigate who she is. What do you mean? Spirit knows is that. Two. two. All right. Um, ask me two questions about the spirit, I suppose. Uh, what numina it, uh, she possesses um, and I th- think I want to know the spirit's name. Okay. You can know people's true names. That's a cool power. As you look at the spirit, you can tell that this spirit has the ability to bolster other spirits with its essence. And it also has means with which to defend itself in the mortal world by um, affecting great distances with strong emotions. It could rile up, say, a crowd of people to feel a particular way as it influences their behavior. The spirit has more than one name. Her name is Mary Paris. Her name is the Lernian. Her name is Rasnara, the princess of eyes. And when you hear that last name, you see someone who has too many eyes. She looks kind of like this woman, except she's got so many eyes all over her head. And she's staring from the top of an impossibly large tower, surveying something that should not exist. Farms of bodies woven together. Oh, and then you're back in the spirit world, looking at her. She's right there. Nope. Um, I didn't like that. Uh, I'm going to say help. It was nice meeting you, Mrs. Paris. Your children are lovely. I think it would be best for everyone if you let us leave. I was back up and like persuade some peacefulness before I leave the spirit world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, roll a, um, I guess it would be a persuasion plus. Composure? Manipulation? Yes. I guess. Um, one, two, three, and four. Four successes. <laughs> I'm so composed in the face of a horrifying creature. <laughs> mm. The creature moves towards you and puts a finger to its lips. You sense that she wants you to not talk about what you've seen here. I see you appreciate secrets secrets are power thumbs up (laughs) and i'm gonna go back to the regular world please (laughs) yep that's the spirit gnosis to peace on out of here break through the gauntlet and you turn and start like pushing your way back through and it kind of just starts to envelop you in sadness and you're gonna roll a resolve plus composure check meanwhile 
it's been a while since Hannah disappeared, but yeah. none of you have spirit magic. No. Um, with my prime side up, is the, did you call it an esophagus? What is it? Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is the sarcophagus. <laughs> English. Um, is there anything on the sarcophagus? There are no words to tell you about them, but they are carved. The figure of a woman in a, um, she's got a veil over her face. She's holding roses. Yes, but like, um, I meant, um, spell-wise, magic-wise, I meant. There's no magic here. Okay. I say, all right, everyone, stand back. And I'm going to take the fire that's on the door and telekinetically move it to the middle of the room and then expand it to fill the whole room and increase the heat. Because I have changed size and shape of fire and also control temperature. How hot are you going to make it? I would like everything in there burnt to a crisp. What if Hannah's still in there? Yeah, where is Hannah? Uh, okay, I'll wait until Hannah appears. You're right. You... Do I recognize the sarcophagus, <laughs> sarcophagus at all? Is it a, can, can I use like a folklore check to see if I recognize any symbols or? Any yeah, I would definitely say that this is, you could use your folklore academics on this. Awesome. Well, it's a good thing you're here. You're a good voice of reason. I'm a little <laughs> mad at being in the magic world for so long. <laughs> I got three successes on that roll. So you, you don't know who they are particularly, but you do know that whoever they are would have had to come from a position of power to have something nice like this. A carved sarcophagus would be an expensive work of art. Um, it is strange that there are no signs about who they are here because typically if you're going to go about making something this fancy for someone, then you'd want to like dedicate it with their name. It could be that this figure is um, a carved relief of the person inside the sarcophagus, but you can't match it with any specific gods or anything like that. Um, the other thing is that it's strange and somewhat disrespectful to bury your dead with open dead around it. And the, like, the fragmented bones that litter this place, it's a little odd. It's like this person was they have a place of respect that was kept away from everybody else and not treated terribly well. Does she look right. like the woman that I had seen before? The ghost mom? The ghost mom, it was hard for you to figure out her features. It could have been. You know, they had similar builds. Do you want to go ghost mom searching? So I want to cast Ghost Skate and see if I can bring the spirit here. And if it's Ghost Mom, then nothing will happen. <laughs> yeah. Do it. So that's Death Gnosis, right? And I'll uh, use my stick, my shovel, and I'll do that Q-tip thing in ashes since we're in no mm -hmm. sort of brush um, and say, draw on the sarcophagus with it and say, if you're in there, we'd like to talk to you in Atlantean. Oh, so you're going into the room and drawing on the sarcophagus. Aren't we all in the room? We're not in the room? Thought we were in yeah. the room. I I'm at no. the edge. Um, I think instead of blowing up the whole room, I'm slowly gonna contain fire, burn um, the bones to dust, to okay, ash. So you're just like burning. Roll me bones. a forces spell for that one. Um, and Ermengar, roll me a death gnosis. Add your plus one for the ashes. And Hannah, what'd you get on that resolve composure? Is none. Okay. Um, a 
few things happen. You gain the scared condition. Mm-hmm. And then you uh, you have a bit of a reality break where the things you see and feel are terrible. And you're pretty sure that this spirit is pushing its powers onto you. And it is not great. You see a chariot that is being pulled by fleshless horses is mm, pulling nice you right behind it and there is your friends Mona and Parallax and they're in the cart as it's driving and they just are like this can end anytime you want it to you just have to tell us and you take three points of willpower damage. That's all my willpower is gone then. You find yourself lost in the spirit realm. No. No. (laughs) We'll probably get back to that this session. So do stick around. But- I thought, how do we rescue Hannah? This one's so bad. I don't even know where you are. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oof. Does Brother Finnegan have any spirit? Brother Finnegan does have a dot of spirit, but it's not enough to cross into the other world. Where was the Nibian? He was sort of with us a second ago, wasn't he? Or did he, he take off way snakes. back? Turned into oh, snakes. Yeah. Is it enough for Brother Finnegan to see into the other world and see Hannah? If we ask him? Brother Finnegan can look into the other world. I will roll a spirit gnosis and spend a mana for him. Uh, It's just too thick, he says. It's trying to look through a fog or something. It's like there's something obscure in everything down here. Hmm. Um, I... Uh, I rolled, so when I was burning stuff, I added three because I looked through my, or I funneled the fire through my wrench and also spoke Atlantean. I rolled five successes for burning the bones around the room. Wow, you burned every bone in this room down to just dust. Good. Good riddance, it was smelly. Is the smell any better now? No. You no, burned a bunch of old bones down in an underground crypt. You kind of smell now. It's kind of like on you and all the people who are in this room. Yes. Well, now there's no more bones, I guess. Oh gosh, you guys, we need to find Hannah. They could be in a lot of trouble. Like they could be fighting for their lives right now. Spirits. Oh, um, is does Chain have a spirit? No. Oh, does Kumia? You don't know any of Kumia's Arcana. Is uh, what spirit is that? Tirsus Arcanus. Tirsus. Ugh, Numa. Numa. What do you think, Parallax? Should we call Numa and ask for his help? Absolutely not. Yeah, I agree. out of the question. Yeah, he's kind of the worst. Uh, I do have a trump card, but I don't want to use it just yet. So let's. Uh, uh, Ethel, any ideas? I mean, did my first, did the ghost summons work? Oh, I totally, I apologize. Let's go back to that ghost summons. So Ethel, as you turn, has ghosted on out of there. Oh no, they're both gone. (laughs) Where did Ethel go? And Ethel, assuming that you got successes on that ghost summons, yes, you did. And they are here. That spirit floats down and like five other ghosts do too. They come diagonally from the left through the walls and ceiling. 
Sorry and about your bows. My it's kind of like staying a distance talking. away from you. <laughs> I mean, Mona is burning them up in the real world, so I suppose they can be a little bit like <laughs> tentative. Um, actually, roll me a wits occult check. One success. Um, if Mona is burning their bones, they don't seem unhappy about it. Right. Um, They're ghosts, though. It's hard to read. Not the most emotional. I don't see Hannah, do I? No. Okay. Um, who are you? I want to ask the main ghost. My name is Oh, this again. Yes, I'm aware, but you're dead, so you're not using it. Um, were you important? You have quite the lovely sarcophagus. I am buried elsewhere. Buried elsewhere? Bones from those who built this place. I have gained much from them, but it was not enough. Oh dear. What are you using the ghosts for? I do not use my children. I protect them. Your children? Oh no. Uh, have you seen Hannah? I have seen child. She is among my host. Is that the soul you seek? Why are you here? Uh, uh, the Hannah I'm looking for, they're hopefully not dead. Do you know anyone who's not dead? Well, besides me, I suppose. There was a It was before a man and his sister took my children, and you will not do the same. The ghosts seem angry. Okay, well, this was lovely. We'll do it again sometime. Uh, bye. And I come back to... <laughs> and I regale to Mona and Parallax, which is happened. Okay, can you repeat those names then? Uh, Mary Tyler was the the one. And and Mary said that a brother and sister came in the past. And what did they do? Tried to take her children. Tried to I'll have to ask Byron. Him and his sister. Byron. We have to go home soon, once we have Hannah. Okay. Speaking of which, Hannah appears. They <gasps> topple onto the ground, covered in tiny little bite marks. Ooh. Their body is writhing just a little bit, and they are not entirely conscious. Okay. I only had two boxes free of my health before I went in. Uh, you didn't take any health damage. However, you have gained a condition. Um, On top of the spirit condition? Yes. So I have three conditions now? Yes. Cool. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it's the spooked condition, technically. It's scared. Um, and you would gain a beat for resolving this when you let one of your actions fail because of your fear. Mm -hmm. You have gained the condition soul-shocked. 
Your character has been killed while on a sojourn outside their physical body, resulting in a shocked sense of self. Upon gaining this condition, roll your current willpower points, not dots, as a die pull. Uh, you don't have any. Yep. You resolve this when you regain willpower, but you do not regain willpower from your virtue or vice until you get rid of it. Yeah, so Hannah's just curled up in a ball. Um, yeah, we have or... to go home. We have to go home. I'm going to pull Hannah out of the room and barbecue the rest of it. And then I'm going to ask Parallax, can you open a portal to get us back to our house? Um, I might be able to do that. Let me see if I actually have any mana left. I have one mana left, so I, I could, you, in theory, do that. <laughs> I give you the three hearts, the black hearts from the walls. Here, take uh, Oh, you, Your that's cool. fate sight up. There's something about these three black hearts that are handed to you. Yeah, they might make you feel sick. I don't know if they're actually good. Do I have an eerie feeling about them, or is it like feels? Yeah, uh, fate gnosis on those hearts. Sure. Uh... Did I give you poison? Probably. <laughs> I got three successes on that. So when you're holding them. They feel like a key, but they also jump around in your hand. There's something about them. And when you open your hand, they look like tiny little snakes and they're each curling up on themselves into tiny little infinity symbols in your palm. Do I see that? Oh no, I'm busy with Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, I don't turn yourself into a dog. You're too heavy. I'm going to be greedy here, and I'm going to be like, oh, okay, this might be worth the risk. <laughs> and I'm going to eat them. You regain three mana. All right. And as you do, you sort of start to trip. <laughs> the initial effect is that you are kind of like riding the time knife. You're just sliding down the snake of destiny and doom. You can feel that you have formed a connection between it and yourself. It's moving, your whole world shifting from side to side, and you see rooms filled with people, and many of those people look like you. There's rooms with stars and rooms with flame, rooms with strange alien plants and creatures. And then you see something that gives you pause. You see yourself holding a shining gem that pulses with power. It's the same gem that Potestus was taking you to see on top of the mountain when you severed his head. You thought that you had left it there, but now it's in your hand. And you're back in those tunnels. How great is that? Do I still have the, the gem in my hand, or is that gone? You don't have that gem in your hand anymore. It feels like a dream. <laughs> but at the same time, you think you could open a portal to it. <laughs> Guys, we're going on a field trip. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Hannah is unconscious. Let's go. Yeah, no, it's just a, it's just a quick detour. Don't worry about it. Um, 
Yeah, it, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing something real quick. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to open a portal and see if I can't get to that gym. What if they die? I'm pretty sure Hannah specifically said they didn't want to be a ghost. So I'll have my trump cards, okay. I can fix it. Don't worry about it, guys. Give me a uh, yes, space a gnosis. <laughs> Adding any yantras, are we? Where are yeah, you taking good. us? I'm definitely uh, using the pocket watch, and I'm going to definitely write a little glyph real quick. And I'm going to spend one of those mana points I just got to make a portal. And, uh, yeah, it's a uh, space gnosis. It's a little bit of an overextension, but... Paradox does not occur. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at Ethel and just like, like this. This is not a good idea. I got three successes on that. Can you you open a portal. Roll a single d10. This trump card is just to go back in go time if we all die. I am not cool with that. Uh, roll <laughs> Wait, it again. Have done that before? Oh yeah, I'm sure he has. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he's hinted at it. I don't like the thoughts. Me neither. All right then. So, the world just beyond as you look through this thing seems strange. The sky is black and the ground is gray. Do you step through the portal or bring it to encompass all of you and the others? Oh man, can I see, like can I see the, the gem with an eyesight of the portal or no? Akio Gem. <laughs> Tempted. Uh, I'm not. Okay, I want to actually. I'm going to walk through it, but I want to keep the portal open for as long as I can. Okay. You do know that if you pass through without Mona or Hannah, you will be Still breaking your oath. Yeah. So this, even if I keep the portal open, it will happen. You're pretty sure it will. At, like, as you go to step over, you get the feeling that that will happen. I am going to create, can I create a thread here? Um, so I can come back later. Can try to do that. Yeah, um, I think that's a space spell. Space yeah. two, I think. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to create a thread here so I can come back later. Uh, and I'll use my uh, pocket watch and say some high speech. And uh, for good measure, I'll, I'll leave, um, like, I'll rip a button off my shirt and I'll throw it into the, the little void. So it I have a... falls slower than you would expect it to. Hmm. Curious. Very. Very curious. Oh yeah. Um, we got three sexes yet. Sex successes yet again. All right. You tie a little bit of space, and you pull it towards you, tying it to your very soul. All right, and uh, yeah, I'll close the portal now, and I'll create a new one, bringing us back home. That's, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to have to take care of Hannah, right, guys? Do we all see that first portal? Does this Parallax see it? Oh, everyone sees it. He opens portals in like a circular disc kind of way. Those are the kind of portals that Parallax does. Do I see any fate stuff with my fate sight on in there? Oh, man. 
that whole thing is like super faded and you're all tied to it. Whatever that gray landscape was. Yeah. Uh, how about, were there any landlines in it? You know, it was pulsing with magical energy, but it didn't have any clear ley lines. Hmm. Okay. Let's go home. Yeah, I create the second portal. I got two successes on that roll. All right. Yeah, that's so, enough. And I'll Which room are you opening it to? Uh, to the, I guess the hall with the, not really hall, the, the room with all the pews and benches and stuff. The school room. Yeah. At the back school, of the house. Yeah. Finnegan takes one last look back through and just says, Betsy, and then steps out of the portal and into the schoolroom with the rest of the cabal, I imagine. Yes. Uh, I dig in my shoes in the dirt before we go out. There's, uh, it's not really dirt, it's more stone. It's all stone here. Oh, um, I'll pick up a rock from the broken wall then. Just put it on Hannah's tummy and lift them up, <laughs> walk out. It's a small one. <laughs> all right, and you are back in that schoolroom. You're all there. Oh my gosh. Hannah, Hannah, are you okay? I'm gonna slap Hannah a little bit. Uh, if, <laughs> okay, um, if you hit me, I'm going to hit back. <laughs> like, I backhand <laughs> Mona and then kind of scurry back. Oh, and, good. Oh, okay. thank goodness. We're here. We're here. Oh, hey. my gosh. You have bite marks all over you. What happened? I'm not supposed to tell you. It's secret. There were people that were hungry. Oh. They were very hungry. I'm so sorry, Anna. A any Any information you can give us? No, I'm terrified of saying anything because of that spirit woman. Mm. Um, <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm. Nope. Okay. I'm just gonna um, and well, what would Hannah do? Hannah would probably turn into something really small and then go hide. <laughs> I'm a tiny mouse <laughs> and I'm just gonna hide like under, you know, I don't know, inside one of the desks. I'm safe, no one can find me. There's a knock on the door. Uh, I'm gonna walk to the door, open it, push past whoever it is and grab some moss out of Hannah's room. Uh, it's not at the door to the school room. It's the door to the main house. So you don't have oh. to push past it to make it to Hannah's room. And... Well, I walk, okay, well, I'll walk to Hannah's room, grab Moss, and on my way back, I'll... Uh, I'm not going to open the door. I'm going to... Um, I'll go to the door and I'll open okay. it. And I'm going to put the Moss it. into the little desk for Hannah, Mouse Hannah. The man with facial tattoos. <laughs> oh no! Shouldn't open that door. Parallax. <laughs> he looks down at you. About time you showed up. 